hello, my name is I'm the guy that's gonna die from seismic activity. Anyways, what's up? I'm gonna do a melee video now. Everybody's been asking me, how the fuck do you have this weapon build? How do you have this melee build? How, what do you do? Melee 3.0 came out. I don't do. I don't know anything. Uh, but now I'm here to inform you. All right, I'm gonna give you the hot intel on how to mod everything now. Uh, basically, melee 3.0 came out. Um, a lot of mods fell out of the meta. A lot of other mods fell into the meta. And uh, if everything is way different now, so bear with me. This is a lot of information. So, uh, maiming strike is now useless. Blood rush is now situational. Uh, prime pressure point is situational. It's almost useless. Um, sacrificial steel is a must-have. Condition overload is also a must-have now, even though it got heavily nerfed. Amalgam organ shatter is uh, great to have. Um, basically shit's way different and now we have heavy attacks and the shit works like well, fucking everything's wacky so um the way i have this built this uh twin croaker um this is the melee weapon that i currently use all the time all right this is what i swing at people when i want to see them dead or in pieces so um we got crit chance even though it's cr it's like uh like cr base crit is kind of shitty i changed carving mantis into crossing snakes and uh, uh, basically, I don't have melee damage on there because of this. Check this out. Prime pressure point is now useless because it's diminishing returns considering that condition overload got nerfed into uh, not being a separate multiplier to melee damage. So they made condition overload uh, melee damage now that stacks up to 360%. So 360% damage is now way better uh, and it's not worth putting 150% extra because this is just so uh, th this just replaces it completely. So before condition overload was a separate multiplier, it multiplied your damage by 1.6 uh, to the power of N, N being the amount of status procs your enemy is afflicted with. So basically, before condition over overload was serious shit, all right? It fucking killed everything. It was absolutely amazing. But now, um, they buffed every melee weapon and nerfed the fuck out of condition overload. So it kind of balances out a little bit. So 360% melee damage here. Um, a fuckload of um, crits and attack speed. Um, corrosive and heat. Heat uh, because it's good now, all right? It strips armor makes everything do a little bit more damage against those heavy armored units and yeah um this is the new setup basically you can also do like um heavy attack only builds which are weird as fuck uh, they work very well on i heard scythes and machetes uh, we're gonna take a look at that later but yeah this is how it do now this is how it's built and i'm gonna show you this build really slaps this is a team of Grenier. we don't need that for now I'm going to whip out the classic 4 Bombard, 4 Heavy Gunner combo, Corrupted Units basically, pretty tanky boys at level 135. I'm going to show you how fast I delete them. So yeah, a shitload of attack speed, a shitload of damage, a shitload of status procs, heat corrosive, stripping armor, you know, doing all kinds of wacky stuff. Uh, basically we delete them all right i mow them down i'm a lawnmower i'm a fucking john deere uh and basically they're dead so uh yeah it, it kills the fuck out of them corpus nothing different really um i'm not even gonna change the the builds the mods not it's, it's the same shit it doesn't doesn't really matter it, it'll kill anything whatever the fuck it is it'll kill it all right um the build is very good and that is what i use now before, I, I'm pretty sure Ligma, I mean Twin Croaker, was even a little bit worse. We also have another build here that's um, a little bit range, crit chance, electricity. We have a fuckload of crit chance here. 70%. Um, you know, we don't even have sacrificial steel on there. What if I were to put it on? Check it out. 108%. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do corrosive heat, 108% crit chance. I, I don't think I need to stack... Uh, crit chance even further. It, it seems like diminishing returns to me, but fuck it. We're gonna do it um, A little bit uh, of attack speed. All right, so we're running a lot slower, but that doesn't matter We're, st we're still gonna clap the absolute fuck out of everything um, So yeah, that's another build basically very similar 
but also slightly different and it feels way different also a really important thing um goddamn crossing snakes is now much better than uh carving mantis to me because it just swings a little faster and i'm trying to kill him as fast as possible i'm trying to do more corrosive procs more heat procs so yeah more speed equals better uh carving mantis also kind of feels weird and this one you just fucking wail on them like a fucking idiot look look at that i like that that fucking pleases me, alright? So yeah, we got decent range, decent damage, you know, decent convenience. It's just a very good melee weapon. So yeah, check it out. We fucking chop him up. Uh, so yeah, that's how I have it built. Um, there's really not much else to show you. Um, we can talk about it a little more, I suppose. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, you, you really gotta get used to it. So there's these things called like heavy attack only builds. They're kind of funky. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you Machete Wraith now. Uh, everybody told me, oh, Machete Wraith is now good. So I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so yeah, um, we have a heavy attack only build. We have Corrupt Charge of all things. I cannot believe that they turned such a useless mod into something that is necessary for a certain type of build now. Basically, all right, heavy attack only builds take advantage of um critical chance the new like times two for heavy attacks shit and initial combo to absolutely clap the fuck out of enemies so machetes have this uh, heavy attack where they hit like a million times in one heavy attack so yeah it, it, it do be kind of it do be kind of clapping uh i have a corrosive only a corrosive heat does just about the same fucking thing it really matters very little all right, doesn't doesn't matter all that much. I'll show you a corrosive heat build, but fuck, it's just so it's so similar to the corrosive only that it's like it's whatever. All right, check this out. This is heavy attacks only, and they actually unironically kill enemies. As you can see, uh, we can fucking seriously put the hurt on this heavy gunner. This is one heavy attack, and it's gonna bleed out completely. You can also get like nutty slash procs on this um, one attack only heavy attack and that can kill the fuck out of an enemy also. Um, let me show you this versus napalms. Uh, these guys are also pretty tanky. Um, a little less health than corrupted heavy gunners but a completely different armor type that is not uh, vulnerable to corrosive. So yeah, let's give it a shot. This might be a blinding mess because they're fucking napalm shit is just a fucking mess oh yeah i don't I, look i don't see anything either all right you're gonna have to forgive me but i i suppose i'm killing him as like maybe they died yeah they're, they're all dead they're all fucked up uh so yeah uh heavy attack only builds are unironically a thing machete wraith unironically good so yeah can you believe that like that's that's a build that exists uh yeah fucking color me surprised and impressed we have a Redeemer Prime. I might do like a special video for this, but basically also a heavy attack only build. Um, because the normal attack is now fucking weak as shit. So I'm going to show you what a what a heavy attack only build does. Um, first these dudes. Let me get them in the head real quick. Check that out. Um, 18,000 like 18, damage heat procs of all things. Um, and they die. I don't think that guy is going to die. It's not looking good. Okay. But yeah, it kills him. It kills him really fucking hard. These guys are tough cookies, alright? And the fact that we can one-shot him is very good. Um, so, if anybody's wondering if Redeemer Prime got nerfed into the ground with the new mechanics that it got, um, I'm thinking it just got changed. It's a lot slower now. I, I really can't fit um, extra attack speed on here. Um, if my build, if my ribbon was a uh, heat status chance attack speed, um, this would be uh, 10,000 times better, but I'm not so lucky. All right, all right that, that's a Riven mod that I rolled my, by myself. But I'll show you how, the, how easily it fucks up heavy gunners. They get one shot um, no matter what. They don't even need to bleed out. They basically get deleted so long as I headshot. And if I don't headshot, heat proc is going to get to them pretty quickly. I hope it kills it. Nope, not so lucky. All right, check this out. It'll fucking kill it, all right? has no problem destroying enemies um, you just got to get that heat proc even though we have plenty of heat on the build 
sometimes it struggles to just give out one heat proc which is losing up on a lot of armor strip potential really so yeah um, still strong redeemer prime but a little worse than before so yeah that's how i got uh shit built these days um it do be looking a little bit weird and fucked up if you're asking me how do i have Zenistar built uh I, I don't have an answer to that this thing is still fucked up it's busted it's a little little worthless i'm not sure what to like uh i think the only good way to make use out of it is to find a riven mod with initial combo and then um max out corrupt charge for like 30 combo and you'll maybe get like uh 30 seconds of disc you know duration but the problem is i can't seem to affect the range of the disc with extra prime reach you know extra range it doesn't seem to affect the size of the disc whatsoever so that's a little bit fucking annoying so the way zenistar works now is um you basically gotta fucking build up combo in order for the disc to last any sort of time. Um, the base duration is 10 seconds. If you have 2.0 combo, it's 20 seconds, as you can probably see. But how the fuck do I get any range or use out of this fucking disc? Um, I'm putting on spring-loaded blade, primed reach, range in the ribbon, and still it does fuck all. Uh, so yeah, it, it kind of pisses me off. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll demonstrate. I can't seem to get enemies. Basically, before, this would reach, alright? It would reach enemies without a single, like, without an issue whatsoever. But now, it struggles, alright? Its range is fucking dog shit. Not to mention the damage. It's even worse. Look, these guys are gonna go out of the range a little bit and just stop being affected. It's, it's, it's fucking, it stinks. Look. We, we, we still have a shitload more of the fucking aura and they're not getting hit. It pisses me off. And look, the damage is pathetic. It's completely dog shit. So yeah, I don't know, man. They do be kind of fucked up. I don't know what to tell you. Um, there might be uh, a way to make um, Xenistar useful, but I'm, I don't know it yet. I really don't. So they're going to have to forgive me. So there we go. That's, that's how I got my new shit built. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, thank you for your support. Bye-bye.